Your brain, not your heart, is behind love. I love you from all my heart. I'm heartbroken. My heart beats for you. And God knows how many other phrases we can say relating love with the heart. Doesn't our heart get all the credit and blame for being happy or let us or let alone upset in love? While it is beautiful and poetic to associate love and affection with the heart, all the heart emojis and symbols that do not resemble the heart in any way, but still, it's the human brain that does all the magic. Yes, you must have heard or been advised to think from the heart and not the brain when in love, but your brain does all the thinking, liking, and loving. The brain triggers the feeling of love, which, as a result, brings in changes in our mood and behavior. So whether it's the first blush of love, or the decision for a lifelong commitment, more than any other organ, you should thank your brain. Poets and authors have romanticized the idea of love so beautifully that we almost tend to ignore the science behind the feeling. Yes, love is science. Our body releases certain hormones or chemicals that affect our brain and other body parts. This video will tell you how the brain works as Cupid. I am crazy about you. The excitement, the rush in your blood that you experience when you see the person you love is not because your heart pumps the extra blood, but due to dopamine, a chemical that your nervous system transmits, bringing all the pleasurable jolly behavior. Dopamine is quickly released when you think about people or things you like. It generates the urge to get or see the person you want. And when the person is in front of your eyes, your brain releases more dopamine. And the effect is happy, crazy, excited you. The dopamine that's released from your brain decides your mating behavior or your physical inclination towards another person. So take it as a reward that your brain presents to you. Your arms are my home. A home is not only four walls, but your safest and trusted place where you seek comfort and make memories, right? Similarly, when in love, the arms of your loved ones give you the same sense of attachment, comfort, and safety. It becomes your home. Again, if, if you think it's the heart that makes you feel that way, you're mistaken. Another neurotransmitter called oxytocin produces the emotions of attachment and comfort for the person you love. It makes you feel safe and your loved ones start seeming trustworthy. Better known as the love hormone, oxytocin is released more and increases the sense of love and comfort when you make out with your loved one. So let the oxytocin take the credit next time you touch, kiss, or have sex with your lover and your heartbeats increase, or you feel more passion towards your partner. You are my stress buster. Don't you feel the presence or seeing your loved one takes away half of all the stress of your day? Maybe this is why we long to come back after a stressful day at work so that our partner's smile or beautiful face relaxes our mind and body. While we know your partner is truly beautiful or handsome, it's the oxytocin and dopamine that together are responsible for your positive mood. It hinders the release of cortisol, a stress hormone that leads to stress and anxiety when found in high levels. When in love, your brain produces more love hormones, oxytocin and dopamine, than people who do not share such affection with anyone. Hence, if you want a stress-free life, level up your feelings of love towards your partner. I can't stop thinking about you. Wondering what clouds your brain with constant thoughts of your special one? Are they in your dreams and present in your thoughts, even if not physically present? Or are you becoming more and more obsessed with them? Along with the dopamine cycle, the brain's anterior cingulate cortex clouds your brain with thoughts and thoughts of your partner. As a result, it heightens your blood intensity to the level of obsession. Anything for you, sweetheart. Love increases the willingness to sacrifice for your partner. You're ready to adjust and compromise to make things work between you or support your loved one. Things that you might not have changed in yourself seem of no importance as you're deeply involved and are willing to do anything for their happiness or for the best of your relationship. You can thank the vagus nerve of the brain that helps you understand the inner feelings of your partner. For instance, if they're feeling low or stressed, you're ready to do anything and everything to take away their problem or make sacrifices. The takeaway. Love is mysterious. It unfolds itself with time. It's more than the heart or the brain. It's a physical as well as an emotional journey. It intensifies the feelings of happiness or sadness, boosts your self-confidence when you're over the moon in love, and throws you into the dark pit of depression if you're heartbroken. The point is, no matter which organ of your body is behind it all, 
or how the brain changes in love. Live every day of love. Be happy and bring happiness to your loved one. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to get all the updates.